Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I'm going to be pouring paint on this blue glass vase and it is a beautiful colour. I'm just giving it a wipe down with some alcohol to just get any fingerprints or anything off it just to give us a place to start. Um, but what and it is beautiful it's lovely and it's rather plain <laughs> so I thought what can I do to change that and the colors that I'm going to use are actually going to um, contribute to the piece and uh, what and if if the color of the vase pops through it's not going to be a problem so I'm going to do a pour a, sp a spin pour because I've got it on my lazy Susan and um, just going to use my extremely well used very badly cleaned out jug it's it is clean inside it's dry anything that's on there is dry um, so what colors am I going to be using let's have a look at that so um, I'm going to be using up my homemade burgundy and because I'm going to be using it up I'm actually going to put some silicon into that just so that you guys can have some joy of cells and it's extremely runny so I'm kind of hoping that it doesn't go too doesn't run off the the vase too quickly I've got it upside down and I've got it sitting on top of a can um, just so that the lip of the vase is off and it can contribute so what do I use for silicon I use Durex play perfect glide uh, it is hundred percent dimethicone and in this amount of paint I will just use three drops and you don't want to stir it in too much. The more you stir it, the smaller the, um, the silicon bits become and the, the less you get. Next colour I'm using is actually very similar to the, the vase itself and that's ultramarine. And then I've got Prussian blue which dries... As you can see there, it almost looks black, but it's actually blue. Um, so that's going to be my dark colour. And all of those are all mixed with Floetrol and water. Now I don't have any white mixed up at the moment, so I thought I would use up the rest of this Montmartre pouring acrylic paint, uh, which is pre-mixed titanium white and we're just going to get to see what gets created so I'm going to put let's bring you over to see what I'm doing in there for a start off just going to put a little bit of that in there and I'm just going to do little little bits little bits of each colour um dark and it's a dirty pour that's that's where you put um the colors you pour them in from reasonably up high and let them mix in the cup before you tip it out and I've got quite a bit of this burgundy in there now this Montmartre also has sort of a silicon oily type -ness to it um, all on its own you don't have to add silicon to it I've, um, you can go and check some of my previous videos 
There we go, that's all the burgundy to get a sense of what that does. And now let's pour. Let's see what gets created. Uh, as I said, I'm gonna um, let's have a look. There we go. That's what it looks like in the pot. Let's see what it does as I pour it. Giving you a bit of a side on view today so that you can see what happens as I go. Uh, which means I need to pour, turn this way. Now, as you can see, it's extremely runny. It's a lot runnier than I normally pour with. I'm going to go all the way around. And then I'm just going to stop and see. Yeah. So, as I expected, it's so runny. It's just pretty much run off. <laughs> so I'm just going to pick up. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. I'm just picking up the runoff and just putting it back up onto the glass and just filling in the bits that didn't. I'm seeing cells already forming in places. Normally, I would use a lot thicker paint on a 3D object, but I wanted to use these colours, and these colours were <laughs> thin. So, that's what we're using. So, it's going to be a bit of an experiment for me today because I haven't done it this runny before. I also haven't mixed my Reeves and Floetrol mixed paints with the Montmartre before, so who knows what that's going to create as well. Montmartre's only just released this stuff. Um, so I'm not even sure if it's on Amazon yet wasn't when I did my initial test sorry about the noise of the metal on glass all right so now that I've got oh it's turning itself how's it getting any better okay let's see if I can get you to be able to see this a little bit clearer that white has sort of particulated it's really quite interesting so I'm gonna do another pour and see what happens going around a little bit slower this time allowing it just to flood down that looks like where I started oh I'm really liking what's happening in that And if I could just get it to stop, stop right there <laughs> and dry exactly as it is right now, I'd be super, super happy. Um, it's really hard to get 3D objects clear on the camera. Sorry about this.
That is so pretty. I'm actually just going to leave it as it is right there because I really like it. I actually really like the way that the white has broken up like that. Let me see if I can get a better angle. There's a lump there, let me just, no, Ag. let me try and balance that back up again. Did I get it? Yes, I did. When you're doing 3D objects, the drips can actually pull more paint off. So sometimes if you take the drips off, it stops the dripping process. Not always, but it can limit it, decrease it. Uh, let me take you around the other side, see if we can get better, better lighting, better angle. Maybe I should just take it off the tripod and see. So as you can see, it's quite broken, the white. I really like the texture that that's created. It's quite funky. There's a cell. I really like the texture. It's not, wouldn't normally be my preference, but I do like it. So I'm gonna pop you back up and I'm just gonna run the torch over it, pop any bubbles. There may be a little bit of silicon that pops up. But I don't want to do too much, otherwise it'll warm up and run straight off. Yeah, we're definitely getting getting some cells, because I put the silicon in the burgundy. that a lot okay so what I'm gonna do is um, put this aside and use up the rest of this paint uh, that will be in another video and I will be right back and to show you how this came out dry and looking fabulous in three two one all right so here we are um wow i am so so i love this piece it is just gorgeous just look at that it just it as i said you can see the blue from the original vase through it and if you look inside if, uh, let's see if i can capture this on camera no Mm. maybe just 
you can can't really see it on the camera oh there we go just down just down here you can just sort of capture that there's still light coming through um, through those spots where the silicon was um, I don't know how to capture that that's but it's kind of cool on the inside but all these light those bright blue bits the light comes through on the inside uh, let me see if I turn this round can we there we go see light on the inside yay so let's get it back in the light there we go <clears throat> so it's it's almost like some sort of uh, mm -mm, trying to get it so it doesn't have a reflection on it there we go that's better um to me it's like uh some sort of vine growing up the side of it the 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 white has separated like i said it earlier it has separated and kind of become this powdery look but it's actually contributes to the overall look so i don't mind that although i would be definitely choose to be aware of that in the future um I really like it. I really, 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 really like it. In fact, I like it so much as it is that I probably would seal it with a matte sealer. Um, I think if you used a shiny sealer, it would not come out as cool. So I really like it. I'm really pleased with it. And I'm really excited to show you what I did with the um, with the leftovers. The leftovers is looks very cool too so you'll get to see that in the next recorded video um yeah so there we go a quick yummy easy upgrade to a cool bars and uh so for those of you that are now asking so what do you use to seal it blah 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 um if you are planning to put water in it and be able to wash it, things like that, um, I would use resin. I'm this would be a decorative piece for me, so that would just a spray varnish will be totally fine as a decorative piece. Um, there are some glass automotive type spray varnishes that you could clear coat it with that would create a um, reasonably waterproof thing as long as you come over the edge and make sure that the clear coat is whatever, whatever your vase is made of you want a clear coat that will stick to that so you'd need something that's in this case glass adherable um although i don't know if that's actually glass it, it, it's made of glass but it feels like it's got a i'm not sure uh, yeah anyway i would make sure it was a glass adherable varnish so that it wrapped right round and covered the um covered all the paint so it's completely sealed in uh, if this as it stands right now comes in contact with water that paint's just going to float straight off so uh, yeah definitely need to seal it but as it is at the moment I really really like it so uh, I will be going live I promise by the end of this week I will have done a go live um, that this week is just so uh, all over the place at the moment um, every time I set a time it something comes up that's like ah, I can't do that anymore my my apologies to all of you but um, 
and I also am getting to a point where I can get those videos coming a lot more regularly so I am doing uh, a lot more videos coming up and what else can we create what magic can we choose and what fun can we have creating with acrylic paint and pouring I adore you all and I look forward to seeing you all um, on the live stream when it does happen if you'd like to join me um, in voice in real time and not on the delayed type only chat uh, then you can jump onto my patreon and uh, sign up it's ten dollars a month which gets you two live streams every month for that ten dollars or you can um, do the fifty dollar a month one which gets you the two live streams and you and I get together and do a you created me poured um painting that then gets made into a video for the youtube stream um so if you want to come and play with me one-on-one -on -one via a video link then we can do that too so uh, patreon.com forward slash mickey art and uh come play with me i'm looking forward to those all right cool i adore you all and how much fun can we all have? What can you choose today that will add fun and joy to your life now and in the future? I adore you. Have fun. Bye-bye.